Hello, hello, how's everyone doing? We're once again doing patch 14.4, doing the rundown today with Drew Bert. What's up, Drew? Hey, what's up? Uh, back again. <laughs> Welcome 14. back. 14.4, yep. Sir. All right, let's get into it. Oh, my thing's a little bit offset. Sorry about that. There we go. Perfect. All right, we got a preamble, but that's fine. This is all the overview of everything happening. Yep, uh, yep, yep. Vanguard looks like it's getting pushed back to patch 14.5. Um, we'll least... get it eventually. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be we're using a single region then, so it might still not be there yet, but depending on what yeah. region they do it in, <clears throat> probably. I uh, think I heard it was going to be in Europe. Like, no, I think I heard oh. it was going to be in like the Philippines. Oh, really? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then we got Windows minimum spec uh, update is going no longer supporting 7, 8, and 8.1, so you got to be 10 and up, it looks like. I don't think there was a 9, was there? Mm, I don't pretty think sure they so. skipped it, but I, I can't feel remember. like I just went right at the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. <clears throat> Ari. Uh, base stats. Yeah. Health growth going up um, by, looks like, six points. Or no, eight points every level. So that's not too bad. They got the removal of Everfrost. They think she's a little bit weak. So buffing her up a little bit here. And she's also getting 5% AP scaling on her Q, uh, which also is the uh, per pass. So it's also the true damage on the way back. So yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah definitely matters a little bit that i don't think it changes too much especially on the early game because uh, you have to build items for that but something definitely yeah damage <clears throat> oh, you always take damage That's yeah pretty good. uh asol is uh if you remember they did a bunch of changes to him last time so um <laughs> they are taking another look at him so the q magic damage per second the bonus magic damage per second is being nerfed by it looks like about five every rank um and then instead of plus 35 ap it's going to be plus 30 ap so scales a little bit worse and less flat damage so yep. um yeah but that's probably good he did feel pretty strong after the patch i will not <laughs> lie definitely it says bonus magic damage for a second as well i wonder if that's just the uh little ring damage or oh, it could um... be could be like as it ticks yeah yeah yeah, yeah. sure be. <clears throat> but yeah, a little bit of a nerf there. I think it's fine. He scales really well now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then next up, we got Bard. Actually, you play little Bard. You can take this one away. Yeah, yeah. Good old Brad. Um, <laughs> so he um, he's been pretty strong this year, honestly. Um, oh, yeah. He's he's one of the supports that kind of got buffed with all the new items somehow. So okay, they are uh, lowering his armor growth per level. Um, they're less uh they're actually what is that increasing a little bit yeah slightly in attack speed and then attack speed ratio is going to match that as well mm. um so a little less armor a little bit more attack speed um he is getting 10 per five chimes in terms of uh like bonus magic damage and then the but the ratio is up so the chimes used to give you 14 extra damage plus 30% AP. Now they give you 10 extra damage, but 40% AP. So I think as you buy, I think as you get more items, it might it might be better, but I'm not I'm not sure. As you buy, like a late game bar, it might be better. Um, and then that's his passive. So then on his Q, um, it's just a straight. It's just a. It feels like it's a buff to me. Oh no, yeah, it's both. It, yeah, because it's uh, it's down flat damage. Um, oh wait, no, after no, no, rank sorry. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's down it's flat damage. Yeah, yeah. But then it's like massively buffed in terms of AP ratios. So I think there's like, I feel like there's enough ways. It might change the build path a little bit for Bard, but I feel like he's gonna be wanting to build some of the items that give him AP now, and then he'll he'll be pretty strong. Um, which maybe that's their goal. Maybe they want to like. I think he just does a lot of damage right now, even with the support base mm. items. So maybe they want to force him to build the more mage items if he wants to wants to really dish out damage. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> nice little touches there. I keep right clicking accidentally. Sorry about that. Uh, we got Fiora up next. The so attack speed slow on the W. Uh, the repost is going down from 50% attack speed slow for two seconds to 25%. So. I like this. I think Fiora's already pretty strong. Yeah. Overall, I mean, she's not like busted or anything, I don't think, but definitely in certain matchups, uh, this will this should matter. I'm not sure exactly how much though. But yeah, any thoughts on that one? 
you know, Fjord's felt like she's in a pretty good place, I think, so. Yeah, for sure. Um, I don't think this is going to change too, too much. Pretty OP ability as well, so I'm glad they're not it is. down a little. It is, it is, it is. <laughs> Uh, um, this champion, this champion is quite, quite strong right now. Um, I don't know if you've run into her in solo queue. But... Uh, yeah, a couple times, a couple times. Yeah. Pretty so Alawi, um, last patch, Alawi <laughs> were complaining, um, probably rightfully so that the terrain changes, like make it so her tentacles are not as effective anymore, like how they spawn. Mm. So they gave her like a ton of like buffs so now the passive damage is down five percent ratio uh total ad um i think it's still a she's still like buffed from yeah she's still buffed from where she was so she should still be pretty annoying (laughs) if you run into her or if you play her um i feel like she's still totally fine definitely looks like they're focusing on the full attack damage build which is what people are building a little more than other stuff Yep, yep, so, yep. Yeah, I think this is fine. This is the tentacle slams, I think. Uh, not a cube, yes. but her passive. Yeah, 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 yeah. When they when they like <clears throat> slam from all directions, yeah, that's yep, that. Yep. So definitely, I'm I'm okay with it. I think it's fine. I think you're still good though. Definitely. All right, we got Jace up next. Uh, attack damage going up by two AD. So base stats. Nice. That's a nice little buff. Definitely felt that earlier when I was playing uh, something. <laughs> uh, w Lightning Field, Mana Restore is going up. Uh, <clears throat> looks like up five at all ranks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Each level. So yeah, there we go. And then Magic Damage per second also going up by, looks like five at all ranks as well. So uh, nice little increase on his W in uh, Hammer form. And then E Thundering Blow. They're uh, now getting making it a root. Excuse me. Nice. Sorry. Yeah, they're making it a root, so it's kind of like Lee Sin's R as well. Uh, it definitely, I think it definitely matters. I think this this is pretty pretty big, honestly, even yeah. though it sounds like it uh, might not be. But yeah, definitely super nice buffs to him. I think we'll probably be seeing him in pro. Oh, uh, for sure. Anytime they give, but... yeah. <laughs> anytime they give Jace even a little buff, uh, the pros will bust him out. So. Definitely, and this feels like a pro buff as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although yeah, I don't yeah. think they may have intended that. <laughs> yep. yep. Uh, yep. But yep. yeah, definitely. Uh, let's, hey, see. let's see what they're uh <laughs> i actually have played against him since these changes um okay. nice and it it feels like he's a lot weaker um but i guess we'll okay. get into it so yeah. uh his health is going up pretty pretty nice little health buff there mm-hmm. and then his mana is also going up <laughs> um the entofo strikes his q uh it no longer slows when he's going all out um okay. So he's, it's a little bit easier to get away from him when he's just like good, yeah. trying to kill your so whole team. Damage. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Um, so the slow is gone from his Q. Mm-hmm. Um, w is a uh, the boner bonus armor ratio is up by a lot, and the bonus magic resist ratio is up by a lot. So he's a lot um, like tankier. But the I, um, I think that's just the damage is actually, but yeah. Oh. Uh, um, yep, yep. Yes, 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 yes. You're right. That's that's like what feeds into his damage. Yep, yep. I you're believe good. you're right on that. And then um, all out no longer reduces minimum channel time two point five seconds, and all out no longer reduces cooldown. Um, so it's not going to interact with uh, all out in the same way. It's basically just the ability is what it is. Okay, nice. Um, whether you're all out or not. Um, Seems good. And then each. Uh, the footwork is his like dash. Yep. So this is this is what I um noticed the most when oh, yeah, I played you against him. You can tell he's like a lot slower. So his dash speed is way down. Okay. Yeah. Um his dash in all out is also way down. Um as you can see, like it's it's pretty pretty significant. Yeah, like, I think even nice. if you like that. he's super yeah, fast. So... It's basically he, he if he can catch up to you, he's still pretty oppressive, but it's just it doesn't feel like he can just run you down no matter what. Okay. So nice. um it feels feels like, like there's that. more counter counterplay to it, I would say. Alright, cool. Good stuff. Yeah. I like that, I think. Pretty good stuff there. We got Kaisa up next. So the R, Killer Instinct, cast range is going up by five hundred level one. And then it's down by two fifty level two, and it's the same at level three. So uh just much earlier um you just get a lot more range to r in i think that's good i think it was pretty short actually 
Uh, yeah, especially at rank one, it was for sure. Yeah. I heard, uh, I actually watched the LS Passionist this time around, and um, he was saying that you just put one point into R and you just ignore it for the rest of the game, pretty much. So, oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's actually up to 250 in, on second rank. I'm I'm so backwards. So 500, two, one, or 250, and then zero. No, equal. No. Yep, yep. All right. Nice. That's cool. Uh, Callista here. She's been very uh, popular in pro play, mm -hmm. uh, for sure. So her passive, this is just a bug fix, but okay. I actually think it's it's pretty, pretty yeah, nice. That matters for sure. I didn't so she gets worked. um yeah she gains dash distance with basic boots of speed now. Um, I think her like little dash is scaled to her, her like move speed in some yeah, way. So definitely. Uh, the bug fix is nice there, and then rend, uh, it's just the flat damage is down ten across every rank. Uh, the scaling ratios are the same. Okay. Um, so just a little less damage, uh, but the bug fix is nice, so kind of like a trade off. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's pretty all right. Uh, I don't think this champ is super crazy, but I think in pro it definitely is a little bit different <laughs> of a story. Um, yeah, for sure. But yeah, so this will definitely matter there her early game, I think. And then Lulu, uh, we got up next her Q Glitter Lance. Uh, the second bolt damage is actually going from 25% of primary bolt damage to 50%, so doubling essentially the damage there. Um, and then E, Help Picks, magic damage is going, it's the same at level 1, but every other rank it's up 5, 10, 15, 20. And then the AP scaling is the same. Shield value is also going up on her E by, it looks like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Mm -hmm once again so yeah there you go um and then wild growth on her r bonus health is actually going up uh in her scaling the ap scaling by 10 percent. so if you build more ap i think they're trying to push her into mid possibly a little bit i'm not 100 percent sure but this is what I, I see a little bit of um definitely helps her support though definitely yeah i've tried her support a few times since this and um she doesn't feel broken but yeah. she definitely feels pretty strong now. Like she okay. feels like I wasn't playing her at all now. Uh, yeah, it's nice. It's, it definitely fun. Nice. All right, cool. Yeah, I know um, she works really well with a lot of uh, really strong ADCs as well, like uh, um, Tefalios and yep. Jinx to name them, um, among others. So I think we could definitely see her, but I'm not too sure if this will be enough to see her in pro. Maokai. Um, this guy has been actually, we, he's been a lot of different roles, but support has been his best role as of late. Yeah. So let's see what they're doing here. They're lowering the base armor, which will definitely hurt him a bit in lane. Um, and then the damage on Bramble Smash is Q. It's down five every rank. Scaling looks like it's the same off of target's max health. Yep. Nice. So it's down, just flat damage every rank. And then Nature's Grasp, um, the root duration is also nerfed. Um, so it was 0.8 to 2.6 seconds, depending on how far the alt traveled before it hit you. Mm -hmm. And now it's 0.75 to 2.25. So um, could matter in a team fight. You know, yeah. every. Every little bit, every little second counts. So, um, yeah, just a nerf across the board. I actually think that base armor will, you'll kind of feel that as support. Yeah, that'll, okay. that'll matter. Also in jungle, I think, a little bit, but it shouldn't really mm -hmm, matter mm -hmm. overall with the healing. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely some hits there. I don't think the Q really matters too much, but no. five damage is something, I guess. It's not, not nothing. But, yeah. All right. Up next, we got some Rek'Sai stuff. So I think they're changing yeah, everything pretty much here. Kind of a little mini kit update. Um, yes. And a base stats, base movement speed going up by five. I think Freak was saying that's like most uh, melee champions like move speed when they're, uh, well, melee, obviously. Um, so they're kind of bringing that more in line, helping her be a little bit quicker. Base health region going from 7.5 to 2.5. So big nerf there. Um, Health regen growth also going down by 0.15, uh, so a little bit, a little bit hurts there as well. But yeah, just a lot of health regeneration getting tapped there, and then passive fury of the Zersai, um, maximum health. Uh, it looks like it's going, it's losing the, uh, the flat health I guess, but um, it's actually getting 
buffed, I guess. I mean, this might be a typo. I'm not sure. <laughs> it looks like it oh. might be a typo. I'm not sure, but yeah, it was. Uh, it looks like it was ten plus two to ten percent uh, based on level of maximum health, and it's now at twelve to twenty percent based on level of maximum health, um, which I think is a lot more, especially late game. But I think so. Uh, yeah, well, hard to say for sure, exactly. Uh, new Fury generation from non-champions. Attacks against minions, plants, and wards restore 50% less Fury. So lane Rek'Sai is not uh, not allowed to be as much of a thing there. So nope. there you go. And then Q, Reans, Queen's Wrath on the Unburrowed. While you're still above ground, uh, the attack type is now functioning as a basic attack instead of a spell. Uh, meaning total attack time and time between attacks is based on Rek'Sai's actual attack speed. And then bonus attack speed, uh, Queen's Wrath now grants 45% bonus attack speed for its hit three attacks. Says it's this results in a similar feeling attack flow to the old spell-based version. I think he might be rolling out some hotfix for this, because I hear there's a lot of bugs that uh, this champion is uh, experiencing, so we might be getting a little bit I heard some there. of the similar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the Q while well, you are burled, the Prey Seeker. Um, cooldown of that is going from 12 to 10 based on level seconds and then it's now 10 seconds at all ranks so a little two seconds less um from that little missile you can shoot out early game and then damage is going looks like down by 10 15 20 25 30 on the base damage and then halved uh as much so it used to be plus 50 percent bonus ad um and then now it's 25 percent bonus ad so big nerf there on uh, damage. I think what they're going for mostly is having her be more of a tank rather than like an assassin or... Uh, I mean, the fighter's fine, I think. I think they're pretty cool with her being a fighter. Um, but yeah, W, Burrow. Uh, bonus move speed while burrowed. Uh, it was 5, 10, and 15, but it based on levels 1, 6, and 11, and now it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 based on rank um, of the ability. So uh, a little bit more, actually. Uh, if you yep, yeah. put lots of points into it, but um, the first three levels are completely unchanged, so you will get, will get a little bit quicker, I think, um, depending on how you level, I suppose. Vision radius uh, is, was 25%, and now it's 35%, because I think they were saying something like she wasn't able to actually auto-attack to her maximum range or something like that, or, or she yeah, one burrowed, see. yeah, 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 it's kind of interesting. So yeah. it's a little bit up there, 10%. It's not not nothing. I'm not sure exactly how much that means in game. I'd have to look. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, like how much further? Like if if you can see, it, it'd be really interesting with the terrain. Like if you can see around certain corners now that yeah. you couldn't you couldn't before when you were burrowed, then it could be. That's true. It could yeah. be kind of a. It could be kind of a big deal. Maybe. Yep. 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 All right, and then W Unburrow. Uh, grouping is scary. Unburrow now knocks <laughs> up all champions for one second, not just the primary target. So yeah, that's nice. Knocks up all champions. Uh, run um, is removed. Unburrow no longer slows enemies by 40% for 0.5 seconds post knockup. So if you don't get slowed after the knockup. That's actually pretty meaningful, I think. Uh, it's a half a second slow, so it's definitely not nothing. And then the damage is going down a little bit based on later ranks and it's switching to AP scaling instead of bonus AD, and it also deals magic damage now instead of physical. So uh, definitely doesn't work with lethality anymore, that's for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then E-Tunnel, uh, cooldown 26 to 18 seconds, is now going to be 18 to 14 seconds, so uh, down by 8 seconds early, I think. Yeah, and then also down by 4 seconds late, so pretty pretty nice there. A lot and get that a lot quicker. Tunnel reuse cooldown is also going down pretty heavily, especially level one, uh, down from 10 seconds level one to six seconds, and then it scales all the way down to level two based on rank. And then the manual cast dash speed um, is now uh, 500 plus total movement speed instead of 550 plus movement speed from boots. So I think it's quicker from what I was. Um, or maybe it's the exact same. It says no now matches right click dash speed, so I'm not sure about that. But yeah, the quality of life adjustment is removed to remove the 0 0.05 second hitch when manually casting tunnels, so it should be a lot smoother. And then the quality of life adjustment is added. Uh, Rek'Sai begins taking already placed t tunnels roughly 20% 20 20 faster. So the final dash speed is unchanged though. But yeah, it looks like. It's like how quick she gets into the tunnel, maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah. exactly. And then 
E Furious Bite. If physical damage is going from, it was uh, flat 5 to 25, but it's not based on rank, plus 70% AD. Now it's 100% of total AD, which I believe is less. I'm not sure. It might be more, but um, I can't remember exactly, honestly. Uh, you do get uh, two times what it used to be, uh, two times damage as true damage, and it's now six plus six to fourteen percent based on rank of target's maximum health. Um, so it doesn't do tr the true damage anymore, and it doesn't also it does also not multiply that. That was some English right there. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, cooldown E is, on E is going from twelve seconds to ten seconds, so you can bite people a little bit quicker, and then the uh, e now displays a cosmetic critical strike when fully empowered, but that's only cosmetic, so it doesn't actually crit you. Uh, so Infinity Edge won't apply there, for sure. And then <clears throat> R Void Rush. Uh, physical damage is going uh, down by 75% of your bonus AD, and then the, everything else looks like it's the exact same, the flat damage and the target's missing health damage. Yeah, that was a big one. <laughs> yes. Um... <laughs> Yeah, if you play Rek'Sai, uh, you'll have to let us know in the comments <laughs> if it's uh, good, because they, they change Absolutely. a lot. I don't play enough Rek'Sai to, like... Yeah, me neither. For sure. She used to be really but, good, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool, cool, cool. Renekton. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think, simply put, Renekton's in quite a bad state. I think that's probably true, because I don't even see Renekton winning, like, early game recently. And if he can't win early game, that means he's probably pretty... Pretty, pretty bad state so um it looks like they're giving him <clears throat> more healing uh on his q the call the meek so more healing flat Definitely. on every rank past rank one and then uh the ratio is up ever so slightly for bonus ad from 15 percent to 17 percent bonus ad so he'll heal back a bit better now uh the cooldown on his slice is oh, unchanged no. <laughs> at the first rank but it gets a little bit better it's down half a second and then a full second and then the the last two ranks is actually down quite a bit it's down at max rank two full seconds so oh that's so annoying uh, that's <laughs> but it gonna is be max rank so yeah that's true I, I think it's gonna get really annoying at rank four and five but yep he'll be <laughs> zipping around quite a bit Absolutely. And then uh, Dominus, they're giving him just more health on his ultimate. It's up by 50, and then 100, and then actually quite a bit at max rank. He's going to get 700 bonus health it's instead of 550. <laughs> yep. So, um, yeah, Renekton, it looks like they're just trying to put a little bit more power into him. I actually think most of these changes you won't feel till a bit later. Um, yeah. So I don't know if it's going to help him survive laning phase, but if he does... Uh, he's going to be a bit scarier. I I'm glad guess. they aren't very buffing his early game because I think that is already kind of annoying. At least yeah. in my yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair, fair. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I think this is pretty big. I actually played against him a few days ago with the new yeah. buffs. and He felt strong. It felt pretty strong to me. Um, to be fair, it was one of those champions that he low-key counters, but I sure. think I think he was pretty, pretty strong, especially with that ultimate extra health. Mm -hmm. um, for sure. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he did lose Score Drinker, of course, so definitely need a little bit of help there, I guess. You could argue. Uh, next up, we got Smolder, Q Scorcher, Super Scorcher Breath, Fireball at 20, 125 stacks. Um, are now going from a flat 2 to a flat 1, um, plus 1 per 67 Dragon Patient stacks. So um, you don't get the 2 immediately when you get the 125 stacks, but you'll get 1 plus uh, 1 a lot earlier uh depending on dragon stacks i guess that's you'll actually have three right yeah i think so yeah yeah, yeah. i guess you had plus three one. before i'm not sure the exact two on that, but... plus one yeah i think you just don't get two right at the jump but you'll still get to pretty quick three pretty quickly oh yeah you're right one. you're right yep 100 percent. yeah all right <clears throat> and then if a manion dies while smorter's q is in flight uh towards it smaller will still receive a dragon patient stack so quality of life update there is pretty nice and then a w echu uh, is going up one second i believe oh it's just up one second early and then down one second late mm. and then initial physical damage going uh down by 20 early and then up by 20 late on the flat damage and then 
uh, it is down 10% AP scaling as well. Um, and then explosion physical damage uh, is going, it's going to have a 25% bonus AD um, scaling on the explosion part of the E, or W rather. Mm. And then it uh, is also getting buffed in the AP uh, scaling by 15%. So that's kind of interesting. And then a bug fix for R, I think um, Smolder's mom will no longer stop if Smolder dies, but she will be very <laughs> angry. Shame on you. I don't, I don't know the exact ramifications of what this means, but <laughs> that's pretty yeah. cool, I guess. Maybe she has a voice yeah. line. I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> but um, I guess at least it won't, uh, it won't stop if she dies. He dies, obviously. So that's that's useful for sure. Uh, yeah. Hey, it's your girl. Soraka. Okay, I, I have played Soraka recently. Um. Soraka is getting actually quite a quite a little bit of help here. So, um, bonus move speed, her passive <laughs> salvation is up r- like crazy fast. So this, this she moves faster towards lower health targets. Um, yep, yep. She's gonna be flying around the map if you're <laughs> low health. Um, Super speed. Star call uh, is getting flat healing, um, which is pretty big. Because if you don't know about like how she lanes, she loses her health with her W when she heals allies, and then the whole thing is you yep, want to yep. get you want to get your health back by landing your Q. Yeah, so yeah. she's gonna get more flat health. It's up like ten per rank, yep, um, yep. which is really nice. And then a bug fix on the E silence now si- or the E now silences enemies instantly rather than after a variable delay, nice. um, which is pretty nice because it, it it is it it is a very powerful, like, basically point-and-click silence Yeah. that's AoE. Um, so the fact that it's going to reliably just hit instantly is amazing. Absolutely. And then, uh, yeah, you'll take a cooldown on the alt, too. It's 10 seconds reduced at every rank, so Heck yeah, it's a global heal. So, yeah, all across the board, Soraka is going to be a... It's going to be pretty great. I can't wait to see how fast she can run. I'm yeah, excited. That's, that's going to be pretty cool. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be, like, Warwick levels of... Uh, Probably, like, yeah. Maybe running more, around honestly. the map. Yeah. <laughs> uh, base armor increased on Thresh. So we got uh, base armor up by three. Um, so it'll be a little bit easier or harder to kill down in the bottom lane for sure. And then the E's magic damage is going. It's the same. It's the same at level one. And it goes 5, 10, 15, 20 on the base damage at okay, later nice. ranks. Pretty pretty nice. And then R in or R the box uh going down by looks like twenty seconds at every rank, so be able to expand nice. that a little bit more. Definitely. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, feels good. Ooh, our friend TF. Let's see <laughs> what they're doing. Uh since AD TF is kinda running wild here. Um <laughs> they are lowering the attack speed growth by half a percent. Um Definitely. In his base stats, so there you go. Um, pick a card. W is getting a reduction in the AP ratio by what is that? Five percent? Fifteen percent? Fifteen percent? Yeah. And then wow. E stack deck um, is also getting a AP ratio scaling reduction by ten percent. So <laughs> um, I don't know that this really. <laughs> Does much to the AD Twisted Fate. Yeah, oh. it doesn't seem like a lot. It looks like they are trying to hit his AP and AD, but... Um, yeah. I mean, that's... the attack speed growth might hit him a little bit, but I feel like he, when you go AD, you build so many items, it gives you attack yeah, it speed should give anyway. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that really... I don't think it'll matter. Yep, yep. But yeah, definitely some hits on the AP, especially, which I'm fine with, honestly, but definitely hurts him a bit. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Varus getting a minus two base attack damage ratio, or not ratio, but a flat base attack damage. Um, he is probably, in my opinion, before this, uh, one of the best ADCs in the game, at least in pro, I think. Um, yeah. So I think maybe this is fine. I feel like it would, it kind of hurts him quite a bit, but we'll have to see for sure. Definitely hurts more pro than than lower elo, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think I agree with that. <laughs> All right. Uh, bear, Volley Bear. So, Volley Bear is, uh, Volley Bear is struggling. I don't know about that one. I feel like he's 
pretty good in the game that I play. But yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. So he's getting more movement speed on his Q. Uh, it's nice. bonus movement speed is up at every rank. So it's from 8 to 24%. And now it's going to go 12 to 28%. Uh, and just a note, like it says, bonus is double when moving towards an enemy champion. So that can be quite a lot. Uh, Sky Splitter. His E, which is that big bolt of lightning, is the cooldown yeah. is down a full second. Let's full go. Seconds. That's big. And then Stormbringer, um, the turret disable duration is actually down. Um, so he'll have a little less of a window when it comes to diving the tower um, and having it be turned off. So that, yeah, you'll feel that. Um, the cooldown, though, is down quite a bit uh, 30 seconds early. And 20 seconds late. And then uh, he is now considered... I, I don't exactly know what the distinction there is. So um, I'm sure there's like is, but he's unstoppable now. Before he was just immune, like yeah. crowd control. So from what I was told by their, them in their patch notes rundowns, um, basically, unstoppable, you can't be CC, just like crowd control. But at right. the end, if you get hit by, like, say, a Morgana Q, uh, while you're in flight, it'll actually still root you at the end of the the um when you like land. Basically. Yeah, when you land okay. exactly. Okay. So okay. I'm pretty sure this is a nerf. Um, for all, all the like situations that I can understand, but yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, that makes sense. Hurts him a bit. I think overall this is probably fine. Uh, I don't really like the last one especially or the first one there, but obviously yeah, they're hitting him a little bit to make up for the boss. move move speed on the Q is nice though. So. It's pretty big, yeah, definitely. And the E, you don't actually get any more cooldown reduction, uh, like per level. You don't actually get any more lower cooldown. So, that's one of those abilities that can definitely be, it can definitely matter a bit. Um, yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> All right, Zyra. We got passive Garden of Thorns. Plant magic damage uh, was 20 to 88 flat damage uh, based on level, and now it is 16 to 84 based on level. So, a little bit less magic damage on it, but uh, these things can attack pretty quick, so that can also add up for sure. And then bonus match, bonus damage to non-epic monsters is going up. So non-epic monsters, uh, twenty early for the bonus damage. So they're just jungle. trying to make her jungler. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think what I heard is she's already pretty good at jungle. So this might might yeah. put her enough. I'm not sure. Uh, they do have like the nerf there as compensation, I guess. But yeah. yeah, yeah. No, she's not. She's not bad jungle. I think so. It'll be interesting to see if we see uh, more people take her there. Yeah, and then uh, obviously in support, this does hit her as well. So definitely, yeah. All right, you want to start us off here? Yeah, let's see what we're doing with items this time. So, <laughs> uh, black cleaver they say is a bit underwhelming. So let's see what they do to fix it. Um, the recipe is going to include Caulfield's ward hammer now instead of uh, Kindle Jump. Yeah. So that's I feel like that's fine. Um, the carve armor reduction per stack is up to 5% from 4. Uh, the maximum number of stacks you can have, though, is now 5 instead of 6. And then the maximum armor reduction is up just 1% um, from 24 to 25. Um, the movement speed is going to be 20, no matter if you're melee or ranged, so no distinction there. And then um, how you proc that bonus movement speed any physical damage, even if it's mitigated, which actually will be nice if you're into like a heavy shield team. It was yeah. pretty annoying to not be able to proc stuff just because you were hidden shield. So yeah, definitely. Um, I don't, I don't know if that'll make this like a super crazy good item. Maybe, maybe more ranged say. champions end up taking it now that it. Yeah, gives maybe. that movement speed. Um, I don't know. I'll have to see how it plays out. I don't know that it makes it like <laughs> the best item in the game, but it's <laughs> it's nice. I feel like it's probably nice a bit. Yeah, definitely. You stack it a lot quicker, and it does give one percent yep. more armor reduction. So that's not really matter too much. But the uh, stacking you get it faster. Yeah, a lot quicker is which is really nice. Yeah. Um, actually, especially for like Darius, that's perfect for him, right? Because he needs five yep. stacks or yep. people like that for sure. Um, but yeah, the uh, also I think Freak said this last little um proc conditions. Uh, means that it'll actually proc on uh, like if Kale ults, it doesn't proc apparently, but now it will. Mm, uh, stuff like that. Nice. So, yeah, that makes sense. So now it just procs where it should. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. 
And then next we got Holebreaker is now an on-hit item instead of an on-attack item. In the notes, uh, it says Holebreaker is currently an extremely strong interaction with Urgot that makes him deal full damage with him through his W, even though his W reduces the on-hit damage um, mm. when it's like going. So yeah, now it won't um, it <laughs> won't deal quite so crazy amount of damage on Urgot, which I didn't actually know, but that's interesting to note. I'm okay with an Urgot burn nerf. <laughs> yep, I'm okay with that. Uh, Ravenous Hydra. <laughs> Um, is getting uh, life steal to the Ravenous Crescent. So that's that active ability, I believe. Yep, yep. Um, and it's going to apply life steal uh, at 150 percent effectiveness. So, um, could be. I can't remember what the old one was. Is the only thing. Yeah, I can't remember what it used to be. I don't. Did it have? I think it, it was 100 percent, but I can't remember. It does. Yeah, it procs on your your active. I don't remember if it procs on your uh, your auto attacks. Let's see the uh, patch notes. Here we go. Uh, okay, yeah, so it was 100%, and now it's 150. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it looks like yeah, they actually so bug fixed it without saying uh, range in... Oh, maybe it's at the bottom, actually, of the notes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, range indicator is now properly offset from the center by 100 units matching the hitbox. Good. Good stuff. I mean, nice, nice little healing burst. Yeah, I like it. Apparently, the other two are doing a little better, obviously, so... Um, this one's going to yeah. be brought up a little bit to try to be more in line. And then okay. Stridebreaker, uh, getting some bug fixes here. Passive movement speed is applied as soon as you deal damage instead of after a short delay, and now functions even if the damage is shielded. And active movement speed now properly decays over the full duration of 3 seconds instead of decaying to 0 over 1.75 seconds. So it's, uh, it decays slower on the movement speed. And then active movement speed now displays a buff icon for its duration. So nice. you get a little bug fixes and we got the terminus yeah. um there are definitely some people who enjoy there's some terminus enjoyers out there so <laughs> um it looks like um recipe is going to drop dagger and now you're going to need recurve bow um but just less overall gold to complete it um so there you go uh, just juxtaposition stack cap. Uh, it used to be five for ten total. Now it's three for six total. Um, bonus quicker. armor and yeah, that's a nerf. I feel like for sure. No, it's a buff. Uh, it's a buff. Oh, is it three yeah, yeah. each, six total? It's the stack five cap each. So you stack oh, it quicker. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, like how how? Yes, yeah, yeah. So you get to max quicker. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. Um, bonus armor and MR per stack uh is going up at every state of the game um which is nice it's from three to five three four five to six seven eight um so that feels pretty good the bonus armor and mr is also up based on level 15 to 25 is what it used to be oh actually it's not all across the game so it used to be 15 20 25 now it's 18 so that's up 21 it's slightly up and 24 is slightly down Based on level, yep. uh, interesting. Okay, and then percent armor and MR penetration is up from six percent to ten percent, and the maximum percent armor and magic penetration is unchanged. Um, so I think overall, especially considering yeah the stack cap, I missed that it was the stack cap. So hey, considering good. that it's a that's a buff, the armor MR is buffed. I think it's this overall buff yeah, right it is, across it the is. board the only so, thing that's like kind of a nerf is maybe the bonus mr and armor but i think everything else is a buff yeah absolutely so basically all this is really doing is just letting you stack it up to three instead of uh taking it five autos so um yeah. or not up to three sorry it, it's stacking up as quick as six autos instead of ten yep. total so um it does get like one percent less at the max bonus armor and mr but that's not really gonna matter much and yep. then Overall, it's just uh, it's just quicker, basically. That's quicker to, to like ramp up, basically. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you get it uh, and six autos instead of ten, which can be a little bit hard to do sometimes in a team fight. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I don't know if this item is really good. I've heard some people really like it, but um, I think I don't think it does anything super crazy, but it definitely helps a lot. So. Yeah. 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 All right, support item. So here we go. Okay, <laughs> support item. So there's been a lot of controversy around the World Atlas. Um, 
<laughs> so what are we doing now? Um, the quest charge cooldown or is uh, up two seconds. Right. Okay, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, first quest charge generated is uh, it's nice. It, it's you get it at one fifty, um, which I think is nice because I'm trying to think about the waves. I feel like I never have. You'll have it by the time when do minions get to lane though? I don't remember it. Uh, I think it's one thirty. It yeah, should be one thirty. I think you'll you'll have it. You might be able to have it to execute a minion. Well, you definitely will have it sooner, but I feel like it, it just felt slightly too long before you could do the minion execute. Yeah. So that I actually like a lot. Um, I'm sure someone knows the exact math and like For sure, what exact minion you can kill with it now, but I feel like it'll feel better. And then um, World Atlas no longer provide bonus stacks if purchased later in the game, which um, I actually didn't know that it did that. So Yeah, that's interesting. I don't know why you um, would, but okay. Yeah. Oh, so basically you, uh, let's see. Item. Oh, Doran's so items. Okay. So I think supports were building support at, or Doran's items and then buying World Atlas after. Oh, a interesting. Bit. So you can interesting. chunk quicker. Um, well, there you go. Yeah, I don't think too much changes on that. Uh, and then it looks like they're changing. Uh, that's that's basically just in line yeah. with the, the cooldown for the execute charge. Um, same cooldown. And then... Bounty of Worlds, 200 health instead of 100 health. And the mana and health regeneration is up 25%. Ooh. Okay, that's cool. a nice buff there. Yep. Um, and then let's see what they're doing to some oh, Blood Song. Uh, yeah, down 5% range damage amp. That's right. probably good. It still yeah. feels strong. Um, have you ever built Solstice Slay? I've, I I've started to build it more hear... and more, actually. Oh, okay. I was gonna say here, uh, Maokai builds it a lot. So, I I built it now on Leona too. And, okay. Uh, I just I I didn't use a build it at all, but um, <laughs> it it actually feels kind of nice. So Solstice Slay um, nice. is now gonna heal a percent of the user's max health instead of just flat one twenty. Okay. Which I think is better for a late game. That, that probably feels yeah, better. Definitely. And then um, the movement speed is uh, also gonna scale. So it's 30% bonus movement speed instead of just a flat 90 movement speed. Um, okay. So I think it just, it won't fall off quite as much, I think is what, like late game. Mm -hmm, definitely. Um, and then this one, everyone builds this freaking, the, the Zack Zack's <laughs> Realm Spike. Um, it is the cooldown for the explosion, 9 to 6, 8 to 6. So the cooldown is less early, the same late. Based on level. Yeah, Wonder but at why. Level 16 instead of. Uh, well, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm not yeah sure. it's just. I think. Well, it'll be down a full second early, so there you go. That's nice. Um, <laughs> and then the explosion damage. Uh, this is probably necessary. It used to be flat 50, now it's a flat 20. Um, it scales a bit better with AP ratio up by 5%, and then a little bit more by target's max health, but you're not building. I mean, sometimes you do, but you, you know, if this is a support item, so I think the flat damage, you're definitely going to feel that nerf um, early on. Mm -hmm, definitely. All right. um, so, yeah, there you go. Let's go. Nice. Good stuff. Good job. <laughs> uh, lost chapter items. So, we got Ability Haste on Archangel's Staff slash, slash Seraph's Embrace, going up by five. <laughs> And loot. Oh, it's just all of them. <laughs> also by, by five. Malignant's also yeah. five yet. So okay. just a little bit more ability haste for uh for magic users. Sure, 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 sure. And then uh you you wanna you wanna do this one? Yeah, let's see. What are we doing with the runes? Um lethal tempo. Um it's down it used to be nine to thirteen and a half melee attack speed per stack, and now it's five to sixteen. Um so it's down early and up late um so i guess it just uh nerf early and then it scales a bit better yeah for um, sure so okay. yeah, i think I it it's... it pretty much in my mind it destroys it a little bit uh the scaling is definitely nice it's better late for sure but um i feel like most melee users aren't going to be using this as much anymore they'll probably go to a different mm -hmm. uh rune choice but we'll i feel see. like you like the upfront attack yeah, speed because it it's really before you got game. you got like items and stuff so 
Yep. And yeah. also, I think Yasuo Yone definitely had some, so they are big mm-hmm, users of this mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, updating some in-game rune trackers to showcase more relevant information. Oh yeah, that's right. So, uh, Grass Speed Undying now indicates total max health gained instead of damage done. Uh, oh, Legend nice. Alacrity now does attack speed gain instead of progress to next stack. <laughs> and then Overheal now shows damage blocked instead of total shield created, which is pretty nice. nice. Yeah, that's cool. And then, uh, what are they doing? That fountain changes. Uh, health regeneration in the fountain is uh, now going to be 2.6 max health instead of 2.1. There you go. Okay. A little bit, a little bit quicker on your regeneration before you go back to. Yeah, loot. yeah, yeah. Or if people were trying to kill you, uh, BM you at the end of the game, maybe you'll survive a little bit, uh, a little bit longer. <laughs> there you go. And then we have. Um... Tether ability changes. Uh, Aatrox W uh, fixed a bug where the tether pool could sometimes ignore the tether range check in the last 0.25 seconds, uh, last quarter of a second. And then Fiddle 6 W tether break range, not cast range, increased from 700 to 725. So when they're running away, it'll reach you a little bit quicker, a little bit farther as compensation for the youth um, changes. And then Alawi E is getting touched. Karma W and R and W are also getting touched. Uh, basically, it's a little bit of a nerf. Um, it will yeah. now break instantly on the tethers instead of um, being a little bit slower in checking uh, first. So, uh, yeah, Carbon W plus RW. And then the Cled Q is ability, ability cannot <clears throat> excuse me, use area checking due to its changing tether range. However, it now checks the range 20 times per second instead of 4 times per second. So, much more responsive. And then LeBlanc E and RE. Uh, note there's a 0.25 second grace period on hitting LeBlanc E plus RE before the tether will break visually. This is intended so that the players can see that the tether hit uh, a target, but it's not. But does. But it does mean that um, 0.25 seconds the tether will be attached and out of range. Sorry, that English was a little bit rough for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then Nocturne E as well as Morgana R, Renata Glass Q, and then uh, Zach Q. Tether ri- check changed from center check to edge check. Tether range decreased from 1,000 to 900 on his Q. So a little bit update on the tether yeah. range. And then we got red side camera adjustments. So uh, you can mm. just see a little bit better. It's a little bit more offset to the right side, basically. Um, so yeah. if you're using that, you can feel a little bit better about that. And then I uh, got Aram Bowels changes. We're not worried about those. Um, Bug fixes, it looks like. Ranked LP gains are now um, plus tw- minus or minus 25 LP instead of plus or minus 28 below uh, Emerald. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think I may have actually... Uh... No, I definitely played this after, so I don't know. I, I got ranked up pretty quickly uh, the last time, especially, mm. but I don't know. Yeah, definitely a nice little, little buff there, or nerf rather, rather. Uh, and then quick play, uh, loadout swap slots functionality. One button press now completely swaps all settings between the two slots. That's super nice. Yeah, that's and then great. A couple more bug fixes there. Feel free to read. And then we got a stream room cup coming on uh, the 24th and 25th, but the registration opens at February 19th. And then mythic shop rotation stuff there. So there you go. And then more quality of life changes and bug fixes here, which are definitely probably important. <laughs> So there you go. Good yeah, stuff. sometimes they're quite important. Yes, oh, look at that trend of here. I know, right? Look at that bad boy right there. Wow. That's sexy. Look at that guy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we got some new skins coming out. Porcelain skins, uh, which are pretty nice. And then Victoria's Trend is obviously going to be released pretty soon here, I think, for people that earned it last season. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Darius one looks pretty nice, actually. And then, uh, yeah, actually, Morgana ones looks all right. And the Eurelia one looks crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then LS thinks the uh, prestige kindred one is uh, is also pretty crazy, but I don't really like kindred, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair, fair. But yeah. Um, got more chromas uh, for Victorious Trinomir. This is kind of what he's kind of looking like in game as well. It's gonna be the base, so it looks pretty pretty sick. Kind of looks like uh, Yasuo a little bit in my opinion. A little bit, um, yeah, with the hair and the yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just like the stance, I think as well. Yeah, for sure. Yep. All right. I guess actually, ye, I suppose, honestly, with the foot Ooh, out forward. Oh yeah, 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 for sure, definitely. <laughs> All right. Thanks for uh, stopping by and checking us out uh, once again. We'll catch you. Uh, try to catch you two weeks from now when the next patch hits. And I think uh, LCS actually starts up this next or this weekend. So 
Oh, finally. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So, yeah, that's right. definitely look forward to that. But until then, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys later.